Hello, people. It is I, J Reaper X, and this is what if. So, before y'all get confused, he's gonna look like Harakuri, but he isn't exactly gonna have the same powers. I want to make him more OP, you know. Yeah, you know me. I, 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 we, in fact, see, bro, we roll like Zether, bro. We like OP. MCs, okay? We love them, okay? So, he's gonna look like Hatter Curry, but his power's gonna be called Devil Fruit Master. Yeah, you already know what, where this is going. So, basically, he can create... No, he has every Devil Fruit. And uh, he can create Devil Fruit. So, he's gonna be 16 feet tall. Yeah. Almost 17 feet tall. Let's just say, just 17 feet tall, okay? He's gonna wear this scarf, but he doesn't have this scarf. He just likes wearing scarves. This scarf, especially. Because why not, okay? Um, He kind of wears the same thing. But, you know, yeah, he wears the same thing, bro. So, yeah. Basically, you know, Fumi's born, he's pretty normal, he has pink hair somehow, bro, don't ask, he just has pink hair, then, um, oh, yeah, um, I guess we can, when he's at the age he's supposed to be, when he's gonna be summoned, uh, let's just say he's over 18, so he's gonna get the tattoos, I guess, or marks, bro. That's the same thing as Katakuri, okay? And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be buff. Yeah, I already know he got that six-pack. See, bro, no, bro. This man, bro, 17 feet tall, bro. This man's a menace, bro. Everyone, bro, in his neighborhood, bro, they know him. And, you know, they're kind of afraid of him because he's not weak, bro. This man's buff and strong, bro. Stronger than the average human. So, yeah. yeah. You already know. So, yeah. Then, uh, we skip. So, basically, like, let's just say he's known all, all over the world to be the tallest man to have ever lived. Because he, 17 feet. He's tall, okay? There is no need to explain. He's just tall, bro, okay? Don't ask. He's just tall. I <clears throat> so um let's skip to when uh he's in the library, you know, looking through books, then he sees a very special book. And um it's called the Four Cardinal Heroes. Then he looks through it, he sees the spear, the bow. And the sword hero. And he's kind of confused because the rest of the pages are blank. He's wondering if he's going crazy because he literally saw the four cardinal heroes. Not the three cardinal heroes. So he was kind of... He thought he was tripping. So he's like, oh, maybe I should go to the hospital today. <sighs> maybe being tall has after effects, he said. So then he just see goes to see if there's any if he's just tripping or if his eyes are good or is it's just blank or maybe it's unfinished then you know he keeps uh courting through the pages then uh when he's about to put the book back where it's supposed to be it starts glowing and the pages start to flip themselves and not and before you can say anything he's transported into an unknown place. And he just falls. With a huge thud, bro. Bro, this thing can be heard throughout the castle, bro. People are like, yo, what the hell did we summon? And then, bro, my man is super tall, bro. And he's buff too. So people, they think he's a giant or some shit. So when then the people that summon him, they, they think he's a giant or some shit. They're kind of confused, like, how the fuck does that happen? In fact, 
Which world does this man come from to be this tall? They're kind of like scared too, bro, because they're like, hey, yo, he, he looks kind of scary too, bro. And yeah. <laughs> so now for me, yeah, now for me wakes up and he, she's, in a, she's in a weird room with three people. And he immediately understands that it has to do with this book. Because this is, they have, um, one of them has a spear, one of them has a bow, and one of them has a sword. And he's like, oh shit, so I'm in the, so I'm in the whole ass book? Damn. So he kind of saw, like, there was a, pretty much a backstory, like, in the book. So he kind of knows what he's supposed to do. So he asked the mages. So we're supposed to protect you people from things that you call the waves. And the three of this, and the mages and the three others, they're kind of like surprised. They're like, the mages are like, how do you know that? And he's like, well, before I got teleported, I was reading that book. And he basically tell me like, what happened in, what is happening in your world? And, uh... So I, I, I pretty much got an uh, idea of what we're supposed to do. And then he looks at his hand. He thinks, he's like, so what hero exactly am I? Because, <clears throat> bro, he doesn't have anything, bro. Just has his normal outfit, you know? Like, bro, he got the Katakuri drip. Everything except the weird spear shit. He doesn't have that yet. Yet. Yes, you heard me. Yet. So, yeah. He's kind of confused and shit. And uh, he's like, yeah, maybe I get some kind of special power. Then my mate, he's super smart. Like, a thousand IQ, bro. So he's like, yo, you three. How old are you guys? And uh, Montreal, he says he's 21. I believe Ren is 21 too. And Itsuki, he's 20 or 18. I don't know, bro. <clears throat> Let's just say he's 20, okay? And, Kare, bro, now for me, he's like, I'm 22. So, let me tell you what we're supposed to do. So, there's the, these things called waves, where there's some monsters that appear. And apparently, we're, we are the heroes that were summoned to protect this world. And no... You will not ask for compensation. Imagine if your world were to ask for people's help and they just demand money. Like, bro, monster waves. I mean, come on. Don't you have a heart? Are you not human? Are you really that greedy? And then the heroes, they think, he's right. We, we cannot demand compensation from these people. We just need the basic equipment. I mean, we're the legendary heroes. And then they agree with my, with what Naofumi says. And then uh, the four mages, like, they just tell them that for further information, they will meet with the king. And then uh, the three heroes, they fall. Naofumi, he's the last one to follow, because, yeah, why not? Then the the... the Mages and the three heroes come in, and people they're kind of they're like the king uh, asks, "Where's the fourth hero, the shield?" <clears throat> and uh, then he see, bro, he he sees a figure crawling, <laughs> bro crawling in the hallway, bro broke and barely fit. So he's like crawling, he, he can't even stand up properly. He's crawling. Through the hall, I guess. And uh, he comes out. And bro, the king sees this giant man with a scarf. And these weird markings. And these weird looking clothes. Super tall and buff. 17 feet tall. And he's like... Uh, <laughs> and people, they're like, in the, in the room, they're like... They're kind of scared and shocked too, bro. And the girls, you know, the women... They kind of blush because he has a nice physique, you know. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you know. Um, yep.
and then he comes in and people they're kind of scared the, the king started he's like the king no he he's confident he he want to show that to these heroes that he's a confident person he's the king so yeah he want to show confidence you know hey so he doesn't start and uh, he says welcome great heroes we we are being attacked by these things. We we summoned you to uh, we summoned you to conquer these things that we call waves. And uh, you know the explanation in canon. You already know blah blah blah. Then uh, he's like he doesn't really have any grudge against Naofumi because he doesn't really have a shield, so he doesn't really have a grudge. And uh, he asks. It took you for uh, uh, the bow hero for his name. She says, uh, "My name's Itsuki. I don't know what his other name is." Sword hero says his name is. Uh, he asked the sword hero. The sword hero says his name is Ren, and uh, he asked the spear hero, and his the spear hero tells him that uh, his name is uh, Montoyasu, and he asks, uh, "Tall man." <laughs> Would you mind, would you be so kind to tell us your name? <laughs> and uh, he's kind of scared, you know, in the inside, but he doesn't want to show it. So Naofumi, he says in a deep way, he's like, the name's Naofumi Iwatani. And yeah, so then, um, yeah, I guess. Then the, they ask, so... Is this like, uh, so people like, so then uh, they're dismissed, I guess. No, before they're dismissed, the king tells them to look uh, at the corner of, of uh, their vision. And um, he, he, they look at the corner of their vision and the menu pops up. And uh, for uh, the sword hero, uh, like, there's uh the title called Sword Hero. Then there's like the abilities that he can do in, right now, and there's some abilities like he can see, but they're locked and shit. He's he's, he's level one. Same for bow hero, spear hero. But when it comes to now, Fumi, bro, my man is already level fifty, and he got some skills, bro. So he sees. So he reads out loud, the legendary. Devil fruit hero? What the hell is that supposed to be? Then he reads the description. He, the film is like the legendary devil fruit hero is a hero that can summon these fruits called devil fruits. These devil fruits can give some the person. No, the person has already all the powers of these fruits called devil fruits, and he can make them. Like he reads that out loud in a deep voice. And uh yeah, he's kinda like he reads all the all the, the name of the devil fruits uh in his head because he noticed he was reading it that out loud. People in the room they're shocked. They're like, fruits that can give you powers? What the hell is this? And then uh the king is kind of intrigued. He's like uh, sir, Devil Fruit Hero, I guess. Would you mind uh, showing us what you're capable of doing? Then he says, then uh, now for me, he says, I mean, I can try. I'm level 50 somehow. People are just shocked. They're like, how the hell? How? And he says, I don't know. Maybe it's just because of my physique and I'm just buff and I'm above average, I guess. People, they, they're like, understandable. Like, look, look at this man, bro. Like, they just say, understandable. And, um, basically, after that, he, like, reads the description. He says, so, the one that I have um, infinity, affinity with is called the Mochi Mochi no Mi. Then he's like... Eh, I guess I can try. 
So he clicks, and a fruit appears. A donut looking fruit. Then he eats it. He removes the scarf and he eats it. Then he feels like, um, thing. Oh, and also, like, he has this thing called hockey, like, hockey, I guess. Because he needs to have hockey, bro. Like, bro, like, are you stupid? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Though, so, he doesn't read that shit aloud. Out loud, okay? He he, he want to keep some shit secret. So, then he... Then, what are these, bro? So, he eats the... The fruit. And people... And be... Uh, then he feels like his mind, you know... It's, he can have a, a, a little headache. Then he knows everything he can do. All the past users that... Everything, bro. So he's like... Mochi punch. Then, uh... He, like, he turns around. Like, people, that when they saw him eat this donut-looking thing... Like, the, it's a donut, but... But the thing, you know the thing that apples have, bro? A twig, I guess? Is what it's called? Yeah? Sticking out of it. And people, they're like, okay. Then he eats it, yeah. Then he, he just says, mo mochi punch. Then his arms extends, extends like a white substance. Covers his arm, arm. And he punches the air. And his arm extends. And yeah, it touches the end of the hall. Kind of breaking the door. People, they're shocked. They're like, Whoa, nice ability. But, you know, yeah. Then uh, the heroes, they go back. Uh, they're dismissed from the from court. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, then they go back to that one room. And they're like, then Naofumi explains, uh, like he says, um, ask questions like, "This game looks like an, uh, like an MMORPG. I think it like no, like a virtual reality game." They all agree, and they're like, "They look and they you know they all see different games, but they know it's a VR virtual reality game. Like, but uh, it's they just list different games. And now for me, thousand IQ. So he's like, "Yep." So people. Guys, we come from different dimensions, different Earths. So don't you... We're all different, okay? So, yeah. And, uh... Yeah. And they're kind of greedy, you know, because they're not stupid either. Let's just say they're not stupid either, so yeah. And <laughs> yeah, so let's just say now for me, the room like he goes like he sleep di diagonally of the room, cause it's a kind it's a kind of a rectangle looking room, so he gotta sleep diagonally, else it's too small if he sleeps horizontally. Or vertically, diagonally. It's the only way he can sleep. So he sleeps like that. Okay. It's kind of uncomfortable for him, but... But he uses the bed as a pillow, bro. Imagine. Using the fucking bed as a pillow, bro. And then he just sleeps, bro. Yeah. Then the next day, he wakes up. He goes to the court, I guess. The royal court, I think it's called. And, uh, yeah, the king says, these are the finest adventurers we've seen. And, uh, they will let them choose, uh, their, who, which hero they want to go to. And, uh, so, yeah, they, no one goes to Naofumi again, still like canon, because they still tapped up doubt his abilities. Yeah. And you know. Yeah, I guess that's it. And mine doesn't join because she just doesn't want to. She doesn't have the grudge, I guess. 
She just doesn't like him for some reason. She just doesn't. So, um... Let's just say, bro, the king doesn't really have a grudge. But then he thinks back. Maybe he's the shit's replacement. So he's still the devil, huh? Yeah, he thinks like that, but yeah, he still he's let's just say he's still yeah. Since I wanna see the king and mind gate being being humiliated, bro, I want that, okay? So yeah, then now for me he solos the monsters. Um, let's just say I want to make him. Uh, like, then they're dismissed, you know. He, now for me he do, just doesn't care. He just goes. Uh yeah. Then he and when he arrives to the balloon monsters thingies, he's like, "How about I try a different devil for today?" And he like he sees, Mara Mara know me. Fire. Okay. Then he eats it. And he um he he makes the fruit and he eats it and uh yeah he gets all the knowledge of Ace I guess since it's him that ate yeah he already knows everything he can do. So he just pams fire face, bro. This man is abusing his powers, bro. Literally, bro. This man is abusing his powers. He's pamming. My boy is pamming fire face, bro. He can bro. He's pamming this shit. Bro, he's a be bro. These monsters, bro. He's a be bro. The monsters, bro. At that point, bro, they give up, bro. They're just like, bro, come on, bro. Like, bro, chill. <laughs> like, that's what's going on through their minds, but they're like, bro, come on, bro. We spamming, bro. Are you new, bro? Are, are you trash? <laughs> so then you know he's tired of this shit. He's already level like ten, cause why not? Then he goes like to um um higher level monsters. Let's just say level fifty monster. Oh yeah, okay, level fifty monsters. Then he he's like, no, bro, I'm tired of this shit. Abusing the the mara mara no me, I I don't like this shit. So he takes the here here no me, also known as the ice fruit. He eats it. And no, he, he, let's just say, each time he eats a new devil fruit, the old one, it kind of disappears. Because I don't want to make him explode for nothing. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I, he takes the ice fruit, and he just freezes all these level 50 monsters. Then he just touches, just touch, punches one of them. And all the rest of them breaks completely. They're all dead. And he, oh, oh my bad, he was already level 50, so it's easy for him, yeah, my bad. Then uh, he levels up, he was uh, with the monster thingies, let's just say he got 5 levels, because why not, he got he gets a boost, because he doesn't have a weapon, yeah, let's just say that. So he was level 55, now, bro, my man is level 65, he got 10 levels. Yeah, 65. And then, uh, yeah, he goes back because he's like, because it's night time. The sun's about to, like, set. It's like sunset. So he's like, oh, let's call it a day. And he just goes back. When he's walking the streets, people are like, damn, this is, a one, this is one tall man. And the girls in the streets are kind of blushing because, remember, he has categories outfit, so his muscles are kind of exposed. So they kind of blush and shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> then she goes back to sleep. And let's just say the mine incident still happens. But this man has... Bro, he, can, he has so many things. Like, to counter what mine is saying. <clears throat> so first... <laughs> Yo, bro, no way. So yeah, next thing, yeah. So basically, people knock at a shield hero's door. 
at the hero's door, the Wolfie hero door. So they they knock at the door. Now Fumi wakes up, and uh, they they open the door, and they see my man is sleeping diagonally, and they're like, "Oh my God, this man is a monster. He's so tall. How?" And they're they're kind of like scared a little, so they're like, "So so." Sir, they both were hero. And now for me, he wakes up. He's like, yes, royal guards. And they're like, would you please follow us to uh, the king, the royal court. The king wants to speak with you. So, yeah, he wakes up. And, like, no, you know, they just guide him because they cannot hold him. Like, they cannot point spears at him. He's too tall. So he just crawls his way. And they're in front of him. And yeah, he goes to the royal shit. And he, when he comes, people they're looking at him with disgust. And the king, he's like, y- 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 "You monster! Look what you did to mine!" And bro, he's like, "Who the fuck is mine? I don't even know somebody named mine." Like, bro, are you okay? Not to be disrespectful, but who is mine? And he points at a random girl behind Moriyasu, and he's like, and one to, and um, the king asks, "Would you mind t- telling us? I know it was scary, but would you mind telling us what this so-called devil fruit hero, um, no, this power fruit? Because I don't want devil fruit. Yeah, devil fruit hero did did, did to you." And then she says, he, 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 he raped me. <laughs> He's crying behind Monoriyasu, uh, crying crocodile tears Um, behind Monoriyasu. And Monoriyasu's like, you monster, how dare you do that? Just because you, th- you think you're cool just because you're tall? Then, you know, everyone is like agreeing with this. The, the spear hero and the bow and the sword hero, they, they're like... How does that work? Then now for me, he's like, okay, do you have any proof before we start this trial? People, bro, they bring undergarments. Okay? And now for me, he's like, what's that? What is that supposed to be? People, they're kind of confused. They're like, the king's kind of confused. He's like, that's the proof? What you mean? Then... Now for me, he's like, so, you're telling me that I can gently, bro, do you not see my size? I can gently scratch these undergarments without completely breaking them and decimating them into little pieces. And people, they're taking, they're like, even the king, he's like, that absolutely makes, the king thinks he's stupid. And people in the court, they're like, He's kind of right. I mean, he's huge. Even his hands are huge. And, uh, yeah. And then, now for me, he's like, second, I want to know, where do you even find these? And the, the, guards are, the guards are like, we found those in your room. And then, uh, Wait a second here. Okay, so I'm back. I had to do some little shit. Don't need to, to worry about it. Okay, bro. <clears throat> so, yeah. Then, he's like, So you're telling me, me, a man who uses a bed as a pillow. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I, how did you even find these? I use a whole bed as a pillow and have to sleep diagonally. So how? Bro, I have to crawl. No, I destroyed the door. I can't even fit. I destroyed the door. The whole doorway, I destroyed it. Just to go on my, in my room. There, there was no door. Like, are you stupid? If you were to... Bro, no, no, no. I'm not even going to say it. Like, how did I not get caught? If there was literally no door, 
there is literally no door. Like, how did I not get caught? And plus, she must have been crying. So how did no one notice? And no one even woke up. Like, plus, look at my height, bro. I am 17 feet tall. My whole body is like, just boosted. That also means that my male parts are boosted. So, that was my, my male parts, they literally reach the roof, the, not the roof, the, what am I saying? The ceiling of my room. So tell me, how, bro? If I were, no, if I were to rape her, she would be dead. So I'm going to ask you, why did you come to court? Like, for real. You cannot accuse a seven feet tall man of rape. It's impossible. Nobody's going to believe you. It's like saying that a giant raped a human girl. How does that make sense? And everyone, they're like, like it was broadcasted live. And people, they're like, all he's saying is true. It's impossible. He's right. Even the people at the court, they're like, oh. And they're like, I mean... He's saying facts. Everything he's saying is true. And the king and mine, they're like, they're kind of shocked. And they realize how stupid they were. Even the, but Motor, even Motoresi, he's like, listen, I'm sorry now for me, man. I was stupid to just think, just just to accuse you without having any proof. I'm going to make Motoresi a little smarter because... I don't just don't like that shit. So then, um, this he's not despised at all. Like the entire, it was broadcasted live at the Capitol. So no one thinks that he raped my, uh, the princess basically. No one thinks that he did that because it's literally impossible, bro. So the king, he says, Send this devil to the to the, to the prison. The rogue are just like they're not moving because they're scared. And now for me, he's like, so your highness, do you have a grudge against a previous hero that was not the devil freak hero? Perhaps a shield? And people they're like they're take they're the king, and people they're surprised. It's still broadcast alive, so he's like. How do you know that? People, they're shocked. They're like, so he does. So, then Nofumi asks, so, is that why you did this? You set this up so that you can take revenge? I'm not even, bro, I do not even wield a shield. What is wrong with you? And the king, he starts feeling ashamed of himself. He's like, devil fruit hero, I'm sorry. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I was really selfish to try to take out my anger on you. Who is not, who does not even wield the shield? And even mine, she's like, yes, I'm sorry too, sir, devil fruit hero. We should have never done that. And uh, everyone, you know, the king realizes his mistake. And, he's, and he stops being stupid, okay? So there's no such thing as execution and mind being bitch. Bro, you, you, bro, be mature, bro. I said bitch. Bitch was supposed to mean female dog, okay? So it's all right, okay? Yeah, it's all right, okay? Be mature, okay? Don't report my video, okay? It's normal, okay? Yeah, deal with it. And there will be no such thing as a king being named trash. And yeah. And no, after all, after that happened, no one looks now. No, no people they admire now for me, because he stood up for himself. Even though this is a matriarchy, I think that's called like female and child children, or like worship or some shit. I don't care. 
I believe female have more powers or some shit. Yeah, I'm with power and shit. I don't care, okay? And, uh, you know, they kind of admire him. And they respect him. Because he, 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 he did, like, didn't escalate the situation. He, like, treated the situation calmly. And he even get, got the king to apologize. So they kind of respect him, you know? And, uh, yeah, that happens. <laughs> but what else can I say? So the next day, you know, they all, the Nalfum forgives them because, uh, you know, he, he's a kind person. Yo, what the fuck? Okay, he's a kind person, so, yeah, he forgives. My God, why am I stupid? Christ of Jesus. Bro. Oh, my God. Okay, let's just say he's a forgiving person. Because he just is, okay? Don't ask questions. Bro, I'm trying to figure this shit out. Okay, thank God. Yes. Perfect. Nope. Nope. Okay, just... Yes. Perfect. He's a forgiving... I'm going to say he's a kind person. Then, um... He figures out he can create devil fruits and give it to others. But he's just going to give them to people he trusts. Yeah, you already know. The next day, he uh, goes. There's no. The people that tried to rob him, they just got knocked out. It, no, they didn't even try to rob him. Because they know it's stupid. They, it's just stupid, okay? Like, bro, it don't work, okay? It don't work. <sighs> So, yeah. Then, um, uh, next day, uh, it's the day he, uh, this, he sees the slave merchant after coming out of, the, out of a tavern. And the slave merchant, he's like, oh, would you like to buy a slave? And, uh. Then now for me, he's like, I mean, if I can save, in his mind, he's like, I mean, if I can save a person from slavery, I guess I can do it. And he just like, he, uh, cre let's just say he, uh, managed to create fake coins with uh, the mochi thing. Like he, he, he created fake gold coins of the mochi thing. So he, he, he appears to be like full of money, but he really is not isn't. It don't no, he isn't, okay. But he's pretty rich, no cap. I just hey he has like ten gold coins, like real gold coins. But he's he made like a hundred fake ones. So yeah. Then uh he goes slave merchant. He sees you know what bro? Um let's just say philo it's a philo yo but she got the transformation earlier. And she, like, exact same as Raftalia, same age. She doesn't have sickness, but she looks sad, you know. Yeah, you already know. Yeah. So, honestly, bro, I think I might make this, make this a harem ship. I'm not even sure, bro. Damn. Okay. Oh, I see. Raftali and Philo, bro. Adult, of course. I ain't trying to do... I ain't trying to get demonetized, you know? No, 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 bro. They're going to be 18 plus. Over 18, bro. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. He's... Yeah, Raftali and Philo. And he says, How much for these two? Then the sleep ranger says, Ooh. Well, this one... She's a few silver coins because she's dying. But this one... Man, I guess I could I could give you fifty gold coins. To, oh, damn! There was a little interruption, as you could see. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so yeah. Then uh, let's just say both of them they add up to fifty silvers. It pay pays the merchant easily, but he even gives him an extra twenty silver coins, and the merchant he's like. And he's like, nice doing business with you, slave trader. 
and slave he says the same so he buys up this too and like he's like the merchant asks would you like a slave press on these two and now for me he's like no i don't need that so then um he takes them both he carries them both uh on uh his shoulders i guess no and his scarf he knows that the restart is sick so let's just say he makes a medicine with his mochi and then he gives it to her and uh she drinks the medicine it tastes sweet so she kind of drinks it all then she's immediately cur cured yep that easy bro i mean bro anyway bro i could just create a random devil fruit bro plant plant fruit i could create this shit and it will be solved so might as well just say mochi yeah don't ask questions he's just op i do not ask questions <clears throat> then uh yeah then uh they both like reptile is happy let's just say Phil and reptile were friends but they were kind of separated and she now they're like united and they're like happy and they want to stay with now for me they don't they now for me he told them uh to uh, just call him Naofumi, not Master of Shemshi. He doesn't like that. So they just call him Naofumi. You know, both of them. So, yeah. So, like, Naofumi asks, So, you guys, uh, since uh, I give you two choices, would you want to stay with me or do you just want to go? And they both say, like, cheerfully, that they want to stay with him. And he's kind of happy about it. He thought they were going to leave, but he's kind of happy about it. Then he's like, okay then, we're going to get you into some armor. So they, he goes to the Earhart shop, then he buys them armor. Like, this man, he does not need armor, okay? He does not need armor. But let's just say he bought the bracelet thingy and the two things on uh, his kneecaps and the thing below them. And the uh, custom shoes. I think he just bought these. Nothing else. So, yeah. And uh, then, uh, Philo gets her the same cloth. No, no, my bro. No. He doesn't even go there. He can make his own armor. So, yeah. He does not need it. So he just goes to the monster valley and then uh, he asks them what kind of armor they want. And uh, Philo, she just says she wants a thing that can expand with her. And he creates it the same thing as uh, in canon. It's going to expand with her and grow with her. And it's kind of going to change a little, you know? Yeah. <sighs> so yeah, and Raftalia. She gets the same thing as in canon, but you know, now for me, he uh, he just makes the armor invisible. Cause no, he asks uh, Rathali if she wants to make the armor invisible, and she says yes. Cause uh, yeah, why not? And he makes the armor invisible, so it looks like she has normal clothes, and she's just good. I guess durable. I don't know. And uh, yeah, what can I say, man? Then uh, you know they kill a couple monsters. Um, let's just say, um, they both explain their stories to him. Philo, she just said she was like a filial. Then she like turned into this human form, I guess. So she was just sad because she couldn't be first Raftalia. Raftalia tells uh, him that um, his her parents were murdered during the first wave. And he's like, if you could have them back, would you? Raftalia says, of course I would. Then, now for me, he um, takes the Revive Revive Fruit. Yeah. Then uh, he somehow, bro, somehow, just revives the parents of Raftalia with all their memories and shit. All of them. 
yeah. And I thought she's like, she's super happy and all. And, um, yeah, even the parents, they're, they're confused, they're, but they're happy too. So, and they hug their daughter. And, uh, yeah, and they asked, they uh, thank uh, now for me. And they're kind of, sh- no, they're, they're shocked at the height of the man standing next to them. And they're like, Sir, are you the one that uh, brought us back to life? To life? And he's like, yes, I am. And uh, they both uh, hug him. And they're like, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you we, we always wanted to see our daughter again. And, you know, you know, now for me, he was, like, happy because he made a per- uh, his party member happy. So, yeah, she gets all, she doesn't have that trauma anymore since, yeah. So she's, there's no such thing as being scared of blood, okay? They just murdered those monsters. And, um, not bro, now for me, he's like, uh, he asked them, uh, the both of the parents, so, so, do you people want to join my party? It's all right if you don't want to. Then they both say, they want to. And, uh, you know, since now for me, he kind of trusts them. So, he, uh, inspects all of them. Uh, Reptalia has a, an affinity for light and dark magic. And uh, the parents, let's just say the father got an affinity for light magic. And the mother got an affinity for dark magic. And uh, like Philo, she, st- she still has an affinity for wind magic. So, now for me, he's like, so I'm a hero called the legendary double fruit hero. I pretty much replaced the shield hero. So, I can make these fruits that give you powers. So I see that you, that you, the father of Raftalia, you have an affinity for light, and you, mother of Raftalia, you have an affinity for darkness, for dark magic. So, since I can literally make any fruit and it will give you powers, I will you, that uh, father of Raftalia, I will give you the light fruit. It will basically allow you to control, conjure, and become light. And you, Mother Raftalia, you be control dark, become uh, control darkness, become darkness, and conjure darkness. Basically, do anything with darkness. And for Philo, I'm gonna give you the win win fruit. You can basically create win, become win, do anything that has to do with wind. And you, Raftalia, you have both affinities of your father and your mother. So I'm gonna give you the half light, half dark fruit. But give you both of their powers. And you will have a, a, a little health headache. Because you will, there will be uh, information on how to use it. And then uh, he gives them the fruits. They all eat them. Because they trust now for me. And you know. Yeah. And uh, let's just say. You know. He makes fellow parents. And they both uh, have an uh, affinity for wind. So he gives them uh, wind fruit, all of them. So basically, like, it's two families. And now Fumi, bro. Oh, man. Now, bro, I'm going to make him find another woman, bro. I ain't trying to do rough telling you and Philo. I don't like that shit. So, um, yeah, then, um, <laughs> yeah, that happens. Then they uh, destroy monsters and they level up. Raftalia and Philo, they both grow. They're over 18. But they're not going to be part of this shit. They just think of now Fumi as a big brother. No more, no less. Even now Fumi, he thinks of them as little sisters. And, uh... Um, the both families, uh, Philo and the uh, Raftalia family, they think of him as, uh... Let's just... Uh... I would say savior, but... Um, and, oh, let's just say boss, bro. They just call him boss, bro. Yeah, why not? <laughs> so, yeah, they just call him boss. <sighs> let's just say now for me, he gets level 80, Raftalia level. 35, Philo level 35, uh, mother, uh, 
mother and father philo of mother and father of philo philo and raftalia are uh, uh, all of them they're uh, level 40 okay so they're pretty strong bro and uh you know he walks back no he he no he goes he's like ah, since uh he became a big party now I'm gonna make a house. Now I know how to properly use the mochi mochi, my mochi mochi no me. So might as well make a house. So he makes a huge bro. No, he makes a whole count compound, bro. Like Mad Madara, bro. And he he got yeah, he made a whole ass compound for them to live in. Like they got a lux luxurious no. He makes a whole ass village. For f bro, uh no not so, seven people, bro. Only seven people. He makes a whole ass village made of mochi. But it looks like wool. He is just durable, you know? And let's just say, um, it has a huge dome. But then he makes the dome in a mochi dome that is super durable. No, he makes a metal dome. Super durable. But make then he makes it invisible so that they can see the sun and shit. And, uh... In the front gate, it says, uh, Devil Fruit Hero Party, P Party's Village. Yeah. Then, um, uh, they're shocked. And they're kind of happy because they're going to live a luxurious life. Uh, let's just say he has a robot, robot, <laughs> a rent, bro, I just create a robot, robot fruit, a random fruit. He can make robots. So, he made robots to be, like, the maids, the guards and shit. So he, they just obey Naofumi and his party. No one else. Okay? Just Naofumi's party and Naofumi himself. Yep. And, uh... He's... Okay, let's just say... The next... Yeah, yeah he makes that. So then they're kind of happy. There's a... They have uh, rooms, and they, he, he has a giant ass room, a giant bro, a super giant house for him, so that he can fit in, and he made it a, you know, a little door, and he also got like, uh, things, a camera, so that, a sensor, he made a sensor in his brain so that he doesn't step on people, accidentally steps on people, he made a little door, like so that they, they can knock and shit, yeah. And, uh, yeah, then the next day, he inspects them again. But, you know, Raftalia and Phil, they grew, okay? Raftalia got new armor, got new clothes. Same for Pants of Raftalia. And all of them, the, the, the armor is invisible, okay? And uh, he got Philo, the... So he saw that Philo is a special Philoio. A Philo... Philoio queen. <laughs> How am I struggling for, with this, bro? Philolio Queen, okay? And he saw that Raftalia. Uh, she's a de de uh, demon human, demi human princess. And uh, they both got special abilities. So he uh, he has the Awakening Awakening Fruit, which, which can awaken a person's true potential. Yeah, he got that. So he will awaken the, their true potential. Uh, all the true potential of, of his party only. His party only. Um, so, yeah. And then, you know, they all got... So, basically, uh, Philo, she can summon Philolio, Golden Philolio Knights to fight. And Rastana, she can summon Golden Demi-Human uh, uh, soldiers, warriors, whatever, bro. And uh, let's just say they're half the size of now for me. So yeah, they're pretty tall, no cap, like seven feet tall, six feet plus. Mm, yeah, no, eight feet plus, eight feet plus, at least eight feet. So yeah, and you know they're kind of shocked, ain't she? And since uh, they their families are like kind of relatives, they get special boots boosts too. Strength boost and shit like that. You already know. 
yeah and uh yeah so pretty much they're op and only one fucking day okay you, you, you that's how op my boy is xp xp fruit bro i'm making up so much fruit bro trust me it's good okay xp xp fruit bro a super xp boost okay there's nothing else i have to say bro said then uh time skip a few weeks and he one day before the waves he goes to the dragon hourglass at his party and uh let's just say bro his party is like op He, he he forgives the the kingdom. He's kind of still mad a little that they believe such lies. So he's not really happy, you know. And let's just say he made himself the weapon, cause why not? And uh, he mains the mochi mochi no mi. He doesn't really like using other devil fruits, cause he prefers the mochi mochi no mi, cause it's the most versatile. And he uses the yeah. He just uses the mochi yeah. He thinks it's the most versatile because it's just OP, okay? Damn, we're already 50, almost an hour long. Damn, I'm creative, bro. I'm creative as shit. I never knew I had the time for this shit. Okay, so they go to Dragon Hourglass. Bro, nobody has, hates him. The church, bro, they don't hate him at all. It's the four hero church, bro. What the hell is it? It's the three hero church. Is the four hero church okay? And for the for the so called weapon of Naofumi, they just made a fruit with patterns, just random patterns, okay? No more, no less, just patterns. And uh, yeah, yes. my bad, my bad people. And he, uh, let's just say, bro, limit break of fruit. So there's no such thing as uh, paying gold or some shit for a uh, uh, thing to get the, I, I don't know, to break the limit of the system. I don't even know what's, what is that, bro. I just don't know. Just fuck it, okay? Limit break, bro. So he doesn't have to go to the church or some shit. Yeah. So then it's the first wave, finally. After, yeah, it's the, it's the first wave. So he goes to Dragon Hourglass, and uh, yeah, he gets the countdown. Then uh, time skip, and it's now five seconds before the waves. So he sees that there's Loot Village. So he makes an invisible bar barrier. He uses a very, very fruit. So he makes a barrier. So every monster that touches it will burn. Every monster that touches it is burn it will burn. So yeah, then uh, now he knows the village is safe. He already knows the capitals. He makes a barrier uh, at the capital too, and he goes to fight. No, never mind. He doesn't need to. Yeah, he goes where the other heroes are. And his party does does so too. So he basically makes a uses the technology, technology, blah blah blah. I don't even care. To just uh, uses an intercom, and he says, "Yeah, intercom." And he says, "Um, uh, people of Lud Village, I, the Devil Fruit Hero, have made a bar a barrier so that any monster that touches the barrier will die. Will 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 burn." So do not worry, you are in safe hands. And people, they're reassured, like, they, they don't panic. They just continue doing this shit. They see the, the monster getting burned. And they're like, oh, oh, well, well, that's nice. And they just say, thank you. Uh, then, then they think that they'll say, they don't say, they'll just say thank you uh, after the wave. And so he goes where the other heroes are. And uh, I'm not even sure. So basically, like, the heroes are kind of struggling. They're mad struggling against the boss. So then now Fumi and his party, like, pop up. And, they're, and they look at the level of the party members. They're like, all of them are one 
A hundred, level 100 and plus? How? It, now for me, it's like level 200. And all his party members are at least level 150. How the hell does he... How? Now for me, he tells them, it's my power. We're too OP. And, uh, yeah, they're just like, oh, well, can you help us? Because we're kind of struggling. And now he's like, sure, I'll help you since, uh, I don't really want to go home now since I have nobody I want to go home to. But I want to save people, so why not? But I'm going to train you guys because you guys are far too weak. Bro, level 20? Only? Look at us, bro. I'm level 200. Ten times more levels than you. So he just, he, no, he does bro. Um, the, he just says, um, uh, Raftar's father, you can, would you mind taking care of this? And he just shoots light beams. Basically, bro. He turns into light, he uses a light mirror, and he goes near the boss, and he just makes a light sword, and he slices the neck just cuts the head clean off of the boss and it's gone the waves are gone in literally two minutes the waves are gone two minutes bro the waves across the entire world are gone and people and bro the heroes are shocked at devil food heroes power and they, they know after that, the yeah that happens and shit. <clears throat> um, I don't even know what the boss was, but I don't even care, man. I don't care. Oh my god, why do I even care? I don't care. So okay. <laughs> so yeah. Then they return to the capital. And the heroes were they just admit it. They just admit that. Now Fumi did all the work. All the work. They did nothing. They couldn't do anything. So and he now Fumi gets the most uh, reward and shit. Then uh, the king says She she devil for hero. Would you mind uh helping the other heroes? And he's like, Oh, your highness, I already planned to. And since I feel generous, even though I'm genuinely still mad after you accuse me, the king he he uh, get his like he uh, he 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 like gets kind of sad, you know. His head he puts his head down in shame. Um. Then after that, I know he said he says, since I'm a good person, I love and I want to save people. I'm going to give some of your people, some of your arm, people of your armies. Um, no, no, no. A, a country should, should have a powerful king. Right now, you're extremely weak. And I don't like that. So, since I feel generous, I will give you um, a devil fruit. And people are just shot. They're like, the king is going to get the devil fruit? Wow, our king will be powerful. And then, um, since um, I'm genuinely mad, I'm going to give you options. That will seem, I'm going to give you, no, let's just say, he just says, I'm going to give you, uh, you have a few options. Robert Devil Fruit and uh, Barrier Fruit. Fire fruit or um, ice fruit. But before, I know you're going to choose something like fire or ice. But before you do that, I want to tell you. Just know that the, the weirdest and the most useless sounding devil fruit is the best one. Then the king says, okay, I choose the rubber devil fruit. People are like, Your Highness, why would you choose that? Then he says, I trust the Devil Fruit Hero's word. And then uh, the Devil Fruit, the, he says, 
good choice. That means you trust me, and I trust you. So I'm going to give uh, your daughter here uh, the fruit too. Then she gives uh, the fruit to the king. King, uh, And then he says, King, your highness, you're going to have a little headache because it's this, difficult. this fruit is kind of difficult to have. It's one of the most, uh, the strongest devil fruits out there. It sounds stupid, but do you know what happens if you rub rubber together when uh, in clouds? It just makes electricity. That means you can make electricity with rubber. Plus, um, when rubber is exposed to uh, high temperatures and is uh, at a fast speed, it can burn up. And plus, since I want to make you strong, I'm going to give you the metal devil fruit. Which can coat your, no, yeah, which can coat your hand in metal. And plus, I'm going to give you the observation fruit. Which allows you to see into, a little into the future so that you can dodge attacks. And I'm going to give you the bio fruit for extra protection so that there will always be a barrier. Well, you can, you, you will choose who can touch you and who cannot. It will always be a barrier unless you you want it to disappear. Then people are just shocked. The shield here is generous. Then uh, he gives mine. Since uh, he asks mine, he asks mine. Do you know what affinity, what magic uh, affinity you have? Then the king is still shocked. He's like he knows everything he can do with the rubber fruit, and. Uh, he, he asks, uh, and, uh, you know, let's just say it was broadcasted live. People are just shocked. They're like, she can give the wolf fruits? I never knew that. And uh, he says, so, your highness, would you like to try one of them? I can give you a target. He makes a clone of himself. A, a doe clone. No, a metal clone. Then he, then the, the king, he stands up. And he says, very well, I shall test this power you gave me, the Wolfwood Hero. Then he, he uh, winds his arm back. He steps off of his throne. He goes in the middle of the court. He winds. He cocks his arm back. He says, come, come. Uh, no, he, he touches his hand on the ground. And he, there's smoke coming out of his skin. skin. People, they're kind of confused. They're like, is that supposed to do? They saw that something is pumping in his legs. And he says, Gum gum jet pistol. Then it's a metal clone, so it's so, then he hits it. Then the clone explodes. Like they barely saw the king's arm. The king is shocked. And everyone is shocked too. And they're like, and the, the king is like, Wow, I never knew such a dumb sounding devil. A fruit would, would would be this strong, and uh, it was broadcast alive. So people were like, "Wow, now we have a strong king. He will be able to protect us during the waves, even after the heroes are gone." Then the king thinks that he doesn't bow. He just shakes the hand of now fool me, and uh, he. Um, Goes back to his throne. He uh, uh, he thanks him. Then uh, he asks mine. The, she, he asks the king. Then the he asks mine. What devil fruit would you have to? Would you like to have? Then she says, um, "Sir devil fruit hero, would it? Would you mind giving me the? If there were, if there is there a gravity devil fruit? Then he then he says, ah, fine choice, choice princess mine." Then uh, she's like, there is, is it really, is it a good fruit? She asks. Then Nofumi says, in fact, it's one of the best. Okay, wait a minute, guys. Okay, I'm back. Oh, my God. I'm actually enjoying this what if, bro. I'm uh, genuinely enjoying it. It's nice. So then he says, oh, then Nofumi says, um, actually, this is one of the best devil fruits. This fruit allows you to control gravity. However you see fit. I really recommend um, using it with a sword because it's easier to control the gravity with it. And plus, um, this fruit is the, the best thing is a fruit. Like, that also means you can 
um, attract things, like make things heavier, like in outer space. You can control the control the that means you can control the gravity of everything. That means even you can summon meteors who come crashing when there's monsters. And mine and everyone, they're shocked as f and they're like, and mine is like sir 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 it's her devil food hero and she's in tears of joy because she never knew she she would get such a powerful fruit. Then um he says um You chose right. You chose a good devil fruit. So it's all on it's all you. Then he says and she says Thank you, thank you. And he gives her the fruit, you know. She eats it, and she gets all the mirrors of what she can do. And then, uh, he, um, and for the heroes, you know, they're like, so, can we get ones too? And, uh, let's just say the queen was informed of this. And she was kind of like, and let's just say she's going to return tomorrow. Yeah, let's just say that. And with the prin the other princess too. So yeah, I guess. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. that happens. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was kind of spaced out. I'm sorry. So then, um, you know, then the uh, the three the other three heroes they're like. Uh, will we get devil fruits too? Like they're genuinely like they really want one of them, and then uh, um, thing, uh, Ren he he's the no they're in their head they're wondering that then Ren he breaks the sil the silence of the hero they're like, will the will us heroes other heroes get the devil fruits too? He asks. Then now for me he says. Since I'm feeling generous today, yes, you'll have one. So, sword hero, Ren, which devil fruit would you like? Then uh, Ren says, is there a water devil fruit? Because my affinity is water. I can, I control water really well. And then, um, he says, what a fine choice. So, I wanna. I will give you a quick rundown on what you can do. You can conjure water, control water at your will, and you can even become water. So that makes you. I uh, know. No. Let. Okay. Before. Let's just say before. He gave them the devil He explained. Yeah. He says. When uh, they ask if he can make the devil fruits for others. Uh, he uh, he said there are three types of devil fruits. He says they're the there's the paramecia type, which allows gives the user a just a devil a ability of a devil fruit that is man made. I think I think paramecia is man made. Yeah. Then he says there's the logia type, which allows the user to turn into an an, an element. But yeah. Also, it was turned into an element. Then, um... Oh, my God. She... Never mind, bro. I was about to do some shit. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. Okay, yeah, never mind. So, he, then he explains the zone type that is a... For the, where you can transform into certain animals. Or anything, really. Basically, Alice transform into. It's a basically a transformation type devil fruit. Then uh, he he asks now. Nah. Yeah. Then Ren asks if there's a water fruit. He says, "Oh, fine choice. You can turn into water and she blah blah blah." I know. I don't know. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just, yeah he gets the water devil fruit, and uh, Itsuki. I don't. I really don't know what he could get. He asks for. Man, I'm not even sure what he would get. Wind devil fruit, cause he kind of needs it. Oh, no, he asked for the if there's an explosion thing or whatever, and he asked, "Oh, what a fine choice!" So, you will have the bomb bomb fruit, which allows you to turn anything, and I mean anything, 
into a bomb. People are like, does that mean he can even turn air into a bomb? And he's like, yes. I will show you an example. And he get, he get, uh, well, he gave into a uh, ran. He already know how to use the word and shit. Yeah, you already know. Then, um, he eats the bomb, bomb food. Then, um, he makes a, before that, he, before he ate that, he made a metal clone. Then he, um, just took an arrow. No, he made, no, he just blew the air. Like, he made a, you know the perfect sign? That you do with your hands. He just blew air, bro. Then there was literally a bullet of wind, and as soon as it touched the metal clone, it exploded. And the metal clone exploded. Boom. People, it's remember, bro. It broadcasted live. So it's boom, bro. He, they all saw what happened, and he they're shocked. And then uh, he took he gets up. He's like, ah, oh, thank you now for thank you now for me. Like, he's kind of happy because now he can turn his arrows into a bombs. And Motoryasu, he asks, um, is there a fire devil fruit? Then he, yeah, then he says, oh, nice choice. He can turn into fire and do anything with fire. Normally, uh, Itsuki, your fruit is a paramecia since it's man-made. No. Yeah, since it's man-made, technically. But since I feel generous, I'm going I'm to make it so that it will be a Logia. And you'll be able to turn into explosions. So if somebody shoots you, it will just... Your body will erupt in explosions. Then the wound will turn back to normal. Then, you know, he's kind of... Itsuki, uh, Red, he's grateful. Uh, Itsuki, he's grateful. Because... And he explains that he doesn't want heroes dying, so, yeah. And then he, yeah, Motorius, he gets the fire fruit. And uh, he already knows how to use it. And, yeah. So, now, uh, yeah. Then the next day, the queen comes. Literally, she comes back. Then, uh. Yeah, then uh, she, she, bro, she asks for a meeting, a secret, let's just say secret meeting with uh, the kingdom, the, the, the heroes and the king and uh, the princesses, the two princesses. And um, Yeah, so next day there's a meeting. Nobody knows about it. Nobody. And I just said the next wave is in uh, two m a month. Yeah. No, now it's 21. Yeah, 29, 30 days. Let's just say 30 days left until the next wave. So she asks, I've seen how as she asked the, as she asked now for me, she's like, she says like, well, this meeting shouldn't really have been a secret. She, but she uh kind of like, she's uh she wanted the devil fruit for her and uh her, the second princess, their second daughter, which is uh I kind of forgot her name, man. Am I that stupid? Melty, Malty, I'm not sure, bro. I think her name is Melty, bro. Yeah, Melty. Yeah, Melty. <laughs> if I, if it's not, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. So yeah, and uh, it's the party. Only the heroes, and the party members. Uh, yeah, just the heroes, the party members. But they they stay wherever they need to stay. Okay, and yeah. Yeah, that. Then there's the meeting. Yeah. Then she asked if she can, if she can, if he can, uh, give her the, uh, if there's an ice fruit, cause she her affinity is ice. Then he gives her the ice fruit, just that she can become ice, 
do and do anything with ice. And she's really happy, you know. And then she gets a little headache and she gets all the information, all you need. And yeah, yeah. So, and then I, um, Melty, I guess, she asks, well, unlike others, I want a zone type that will fruit. Is there that will, uh, perhaps a zone type that could give me a, be, make me become a bird or, so, or something? And he says, hmm. So you, I, uh, so you like birds? Well, there's this fruit. It's basically a mixture of every single uh, type of devil fruit. And the people at the meeting, they're kind of, they're, they're like intrigued and shocked. They're like, it's the bird bird model phoenix fruit. Basically allows you to turn into a phoenix. So, since I might give you some a rundown, a rundown so that your headache will be a... Uh, because this fruit is... The egg will get you a big headache if I don't tell you before information beforehand. So I'm going to give you a brief rundown. Basically, you can turn into a firebird. Technically, normally, your flames cannot be hot. But I'm going to make it so you have two modes. One mode where your flames will be hot, just like normal flames. But you can... Uh, yeah. And in the other mode, your flames will be blue and gold. The first mode, your flames will be orange and red. Second mode, your flames will be blue and gold. So the first mode is like normal flames, just like Motoyasu. And uh, the second mode will be healing flames and solid flames, which basically means you can make things out of your flames so that you can hit opponents. And if you make them sharp enough, they can pierce people. And they really hurt when when it when they hit somebody. They're basically solid flames, and they can heal. They're basically called the flames of rejuvenations, of rejuvenation, which basically allows the user to basically heal people with their flames. And their flames, and yeah, the second mode will be normal flames. You know, the second mode, the first mode will be called the flames of purgatory. Basically means extremely hot flames. Yeah, but um, the only way you'll be able to use these powers is uh, if you like one of your body parts become a phoenix. For example, let me show you this. So he becomes, he eats the phoenix fruit, uh, he goes in the fire, uh, the blue fire mode so that it won't hurt people. So he, he makes uh, one of his arm wings of blue flame, like two of them. And, and the talent, and his talents too. And he says, this is the only way you can use your powers. Basically, if you make at least one of your body part, and that one body part will be able to use your powers. So if you make it a leg of, fire, of a phoenix, you'll be able to use uh, flames, I guess, with your leg. But you can also do this. Basically, he turns into a full phoenix, but he reduces the size, and he says... This is a reduced size. The true phoenix will be uh, at least three times my size, my height, and my size. And like, they're shocked as hell. But he, he made, a, he made a, 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 a full phoenix but of himself. Same height as himself. Then like, they imagine three, three times that and you're shocked and shit and uh yeah and uh you know melty she's happy she gets the fruit and then she doesn't get a big headache because she now for me kind of explained beforehand and yeah then the meeting is called off and uh since then uh the i guess the queen explains that there's waves all over the world and sadly the king of the of our mark, um, sadly, summon all four heroes in this kingdom protect protected. It was understandable, but it was not a good thing to do. There's basically three main countries in this world. Then now for me, he's like, oh no problem. I can literally make clones of me, and they'll be completely fine. 
and I can I can make the clones of me and the heroes, so that all the all the the real us will stay here and protect Norma. What the clones of us? Will uh yeah protect other countries from the waves? I'm pretty sure the the waves will never end. So might as well stay here. Might as well do this forever. So I was like, oh, any of you want to go back home, right? You all died. So there's nobody you can go home to. And they all agree. And even and the queen, she's happy because she's going to be back with her family. And she's going to rule the kingdom. Like the kingdom, like it's supposed to be ruled. Yeah. So then he um, makes a clone of himself in uh, Soulveld, I think. Basically, the demi human nation. And wherever um, Ren Itsuki is supposed to be, because the spear hero is in the is Mel is in Melmark. But wherever the, the bow and the sword hero are supposed, to, they go. But they go. he makes a clone of them there. Then the basically he tells that the king or whatever bro, of these countries that they uh, through the clones that they are clones that they will protect the country. And all the countries all over the world, but basically, you all have a personal clone of the hero that was supposed to be summoned uh, in the in your country, and then you know all the king and whatever. But they um now they they like where wherever the clones were sent, they you know now they're like like uh, they're uh, relieved because now they know that they will not have to suffer. To the waves. Oh, my bad. Oh, okay, so I'm back. I believe I left off where um, um I was talking about the clones and shit. Now, uh, she, they, yeah, so they are the kings I'm in the world. They're fine. Let's just say they still go to the. No, bro, I'm gonna I'm I'm end it. Yeah, I'm gonna end it now. Yeah, I'm gonna make it part two later. Because it's already been an hour or so. Bye-bye.